so today I am doing my um, favorite products of 2014 video and I, I feel like those are like the best videos because they're even like more serious than like monthly favorites which is amazing so those are pretty much the products that work the best in 2014 so I've got a ton so without any further ado let's get started starting up with skin the best face primer I've used is the Benefit Professional this seriously makes my skin like all smooth out and closes my pores and it is just awesome I've been loving it so much and yeah definitely a plus for this one then moving on to the best BB cream slash like tinted moisturizer. It has been my Smashbox camera ready BB cream. Plus this one has SPF 35 in it. I remember being obsessed with it, but I kind of ran out. So I'm not going to be able to like describe why exactly I love it, but definitely going to repurchase this one. I have got the best foundation of 2014 and it is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow. Um, foundation this one also has SPF in it and this this is like a medium coverage foundation which I like and it is just like I don't know as you can see I've used a lot it is perfect to my skin tone I am in the color I believe honey yeah so I have been really really loving this and definitely will be repurchasing it as soon as I finish the entire bottle then we've got the best concealer and I kind of like hesitated between like putting another one because I don't use this one quite as often but I remember like this is my second tube this year and I remember that I was really really obsessed with this so I just wanted to mention this one. This is the Maybelline Anti-Age um, Under Eye Concealer. I was obsessed with it, I still like it but um, I'm kind of like preferring more like creamy concealers at the moment rather than like liquidish um, concealers. Then the best powder of 2014 has been my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and I like this one because it has some coverage which is awesome because well um, <laughs> it is awesome because because you don't have to like you don't have to put foundation underneath or BB cream or anything like there are days most of the days I just put this one on this one on and I feel like it has enough coverage to like even up my skin tone which is amazing and I'm in the color medium plus for this one then we've got the best bronzer of 2014 and it is my Bobbi Brown bronzer the only thing is that I broke it like it fell on the ground and now it doesn't like close as I used as it would and I feel like like the packaging is awesome if it did close but anyways um, this is how it looks like. I like it because it's a matte color and it's not too dark. Like it's kind of dark, but like it's not like terrible dark. And this one is in the color medium too. And yeah, basically I really like it because it's matte and yeah. <laughs> then moving on to the favorite blush of this year. It is from MAC and it is gingerly from MAC. I like it because like every time I'm like I like it because I like I love it because um, it's not like a bam your face color it's a very subtle like bronzy color that I think matches my skin tone very well so I've been using like the chisel out of this and I can see like little like bumpy areas that I put my brush in and it is definitely a huge huge favorite then moving on to the best highlighter, I seriously started using like highlighters a lot this past year, like this past three months at least. So um, I was going to mention my Benefit um, what, What's Up concealer and uh, What's Up highlighter, but then I decided to go with this one because the application process is much much um, easier and doesn't give like as harsh results as the what's up one this is the Laura Mercier candlelight mineral illuminating powder and I'm just going to like try to open it and show you like how it is okay can you see can you see can you see yeah so um, you just like I take it with a fan brush and then kind of like go here um, on the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow and then on my chin and I think that it's like it doesn't look too much like it's it looks pretty like subtle and natural which I like for everyday use then moving on to the best mascara of 2014 this has been the mascara that I used a ton during like at the beginning of the year and then ran out and then I decided like I would normally repurchase it 
but it's expensive so I'm kind of like waiting to use up all of my other concealers and I'm kind of hesitating between this one and the Grandiose so let me know which one is better but this is the Lancome Hypnose um, I was recommended this by a girl in my school who doesn't do YouTube or watch YouTube videos so this is really awesome the brush is like really thin so you wouldn't think it's just like that good but it is that good then the best brow product of 2014 is Omega by MAC and this is how it looks like like you would normally tell you would normally say that it is a lot lighter for my brows but actually it is like the perfect shade to put between the hole I guess because if it's too dark then it's not gonna look natural so I really really like this as you can see I hit pan on this and something that I can like I like about it is that the fact that it's an eyeshadow so it can double as eyeshadow and you have to use like less products I guess um, in 2015 I'm definitely going to be purchasing like other brow products especially like the brow gel from Benefit because apparently it's amazing so yeah um, I'm still gonna keep using this but I'm definitely going to like try to use more because this has literally been the only thing that I've been applying on my brows for the past year then moving on to lips, I've got my favorite lip pencil, which is the one that I have on my lips right now, and it is from MAC, and it is Spice from MAC. I love it. I don't think that I have to swatch it because it's on my lips, but um, yeah, so definitely a huge favorite when you don't want a bold lip, but you kind of want to put something on your lips too. Then um, the best kind of like nude natural lipstick of the month has been Baby Lips from Laura Mercier and I I saw Lindsay Rem talk about it in one of our videos and it was just like awesome her lips look so good so um, my friend gave it to me for my birthday it is just like I just I don't know it's like it, uh, it's really natural as you can see and I really like it and I don't know it's like my go-to like with my bag like kind of like your lips look better lipstick then my favorite like ball lipstick is from MAC and it is Diva from MAC. I like that it's a matte color and I bought this when I was doing a collab for my Turkish channel. It's like this berry color that I just like love so much. Plus it's really easy to apply like it's not like super matte so it's like hard to apply but I like it and yeah the fact that it's matte it's definitely a plus for the dark lips because it doesn't look as messy. Then moving on to my favorite lip gloss, I was going, I was either going to show you something from L'Oreal or something from MAC, like the one that was called Fro Floating Lotus, but I decided to go with this one. I really like this because wait, the, the color, first of all, the color that you see in the tube is not at all the color that it actually is on our lips. It kind of like darkens out and then becomes this, how do you call it? It becomes this like reddish color that you can see on my previous video. Um, it is I uh, just like the perfect like your lips look better but reddish kind of lip gloss. And last but not least, my favorite lip balm of the year has been Nivea Lip Butter in Vanilla and Macadamia. Something the thing that I really love about these is the fact that they don't like. They really like moisturize your lips like a lot and they're really heavy so I put it on like before I go to sleep and then in the morning like they're still there kind of but my lips have been getting a lot more moist <laughs> during the past year thanks to these little babies and yeah so those are all of my 2014 beauty favorites comment down below a product that you've used a lot during the during 2014 and I will talk to you guys in my next video